Hi, I'm Gabe Nicotera. Welcome to Hamped Up. Y'all ready for this? The college application process for athletes in high school has been known to be very different compared to non-student athletes. Ms. Dupre, the athletic director of our Divine School, as well as Ms. Giordano, one of our school's guidance counselors, both know a lot on the subject of the college recruitment journey. So I asked them a few questions on the topic. So I think that um, you know the application process is the same, right? Students are submitting the same documentation that they do for um, if you're an athlete or a non-athlete. What students may not know is that, um, you know, we have to actually work with the NCAA Eligibility Center. And what that means is that all our coursework has to be uploaded and approved by them in order for our students to become what they call certified. The reality is if you're going to be a D1 athlete, the likelihood is that people are already looking at you in certain sports as early as seventh or eighth grade. Smaller Division I programs are going to start looking at folks um, by sophomore year, no question. So um, they'll be reaching out during designated um, sort of legal times to be able to reach out and let you know that they're interested. Me being a student athlete, many people expect me to have perfect grades and excel in various sports. Not to flex, but I did get called up to JV baseball my sophomore year. Real athletes, such as Nick Peterson, have made arrangements to go to college for athletic endeavors. This week, I talked to him about the process he has gone through to run in college. So the year you started running, freshman year, did you have any idea you'd be going to college for running? I had no idea. Um, I think, like, back then I was just focused on, like, <laughs> just running a fast time. And back then I wasn't really... As a freshman, you know, you don't think too much about college. How did your process for applying to college differ from your non-student athlete friends? I'd known a lot earlier what college I was going to go to. Um, like I knew in like July that I wanted to commit to a college. In some cases, the process begins in the early stages of high school. I also sat down with sophomore Caroline Tanner on what she has been doing for her future career in soccer. What have you started doing to prepare for college? My club team has been going to a few college showcases, and for every showcase, you can go on the website and find a list of the coaches that are attending. So my coach really encourages all of us to send out emails to schools that we're interested to so the coaches can come watch our games and see us play. This spring and summer, I'll probably start going to some ID camps and getting to know the coaches and start talking to them a little bit more and get more serious as to where I'm going to go in the future. Congratulations goes out to the boys and girls cross-country teams for both finessing advances to the state finals. Best of luck to both of you. Thanks for watching Hamped Up. I'm Gabe Nicotera.